Hi everyone. Welcome to the next Waste 360 Coffee Talks, where I have the pleasure of talking with the industry's leading innovators. And today I have Stephen Klieg. He is CFO of WasteClip. Welcome, Stephen. Hi, good morning. So Stephen, we've read a lot about the new brand that WasteClip has launched. WasteClip works. Could you please tell me more about that? Sure, it's a, a turnkey service center um, providing services, um, whether it be serving our OEM brands, which include AMREP, which is our refuse trucks, our tarping systems, which are sold under the Mountain Tarp and Pioneer brands, or go to parts, which offers uh, all the parts that serves our OEM brands, as well as the aftermarket for the installed base of, of equipment that's in the marketplace. That's great. And I saw some fabulous pictures that we'll share with the audience as well. Um, but can you tell me more about the origin story of this idea? I love this whole uh, serving the local audience while also being able to be part of um, your distributors as well. Yeah, I, we found that in the industry, there was a local need for really service and support. And really the whole strategy behind WasteQuip Works started when um, we were doing uh, the acquisition of AMREP and we quickly learned that in order to serve the municipal customers that we needed to have um, a service center there to be able to take care of those trucks when, when they're, they're down. Um, the second piece is on really the go to parts side uh, of our business. We wanted to grow our local installation of parts and service locally and we believe that by installing these service centers it provides more access to our parts in, in the local marketplace. Oh, that's fantastic. Now tell us why customers should use Works. Really, all it's all about serving the customer, right? And making sure that it's more efficient and they have an experience that is unparalleled in the industry. And that's our intent with, with WasteQuip Works. Um, what we're doing is going out and getting the top-notch technicians um, to really work at these locations to make sure that they have um, familiarity with the brands that are within the industry, as well as significant training on our OEM brands to make sure that whether you need a tarping system or you need to keep your truck on the road, that those technicians are well trained and we do it right the first time to serve the customer needs in the marketplace. Oh, that's great that you're putting customers first. And you talked about this a little bit, but can you really walk us through the strategy for developing this brand? Yeah, this is something that we've been familiar with in the past. Um, on the mountain tarp side, uh, we had uh, a lot of experience with local units and mobile units on, on the tarping side of the business. And we have a number of locations that were up and going. What we WasteQuip Works does is really takes that concept to the next level because what we're doing now is not only providing the tarping side of the business and mobile service, but also repair, service for all industry parts, and um, just making sure that we have a very broad offering and expertise on the service side um, in the local marketplace. Now, there were certain areas um, that we have a very strong relationship from a dealer standpoint, but we wanted to make absolutely certain that if we do go to market where there's um, less coverage from a dealer standpoint, that we're able to react quickly um, and, and serve the customers. Oh, that's a great motivation for what you're doing. Now, did your manufacturing background help you in this launch? I, I, think, I think the team's expertise did. Um, oh. I'd say that if you look at you know, we, we named it WasteQuip Works, and really that's because it's going to work, and it's going to work the first time, and it really represents the hardworking employees at WasteQuip. So the team's expertise, especially like I mentioned historically on the tarping side of the business, as well as the, the OEM side of all of the various parts that we offer um, to our customers, that's really what gives you the, the ability to be able to execute something like this. Oh, it sounds like you have an amazing team. It, we do. So what's next for WasteQuip Works? I mean, beyond just expanding the number of facilities. So we're going to expand the, the number of facilities, but we're also going to make sure that we provide mobile service. And the important thing, as I mentioned before, is to really listen to your customer. And if they have additional needs, 
um, we're, we're going to make sure that we get a, a combined list of those and we follow up on those. So it's, again, it's all about serving the customer. At WasteQuip, we offer um, really all of the various products that move the waste stream. And there's nobody else like us in the industry because we provide steel containers, toter carts, AMREP refuse trucks, mountain tarp and pioneer tarping systems, as well as parts, not only for our OEM brands, but also for the aftermarket. So what we want to do is bring all the strength that we have and knowledge within the industry to the ability to serve that customer in the local marketplace. And so you'll stay tuned. You're going to see uh, a lot more news on WasteQuip Works in the future. Oh, that's great to hear. And I have no doubt that you'll be able to do just what you're saying. So before we let you go, I know you have a busy day. Is there anything else you wanted to share? Uh, no, no, not today. Um, I think we hit all the various topics. I just say, you know, thank you to our customers. Thank you our for suppliers. And it's great for me to be able to talk to you this morning and really represent all the hardworking people at WasteQuip. Oh, that's great. And we wish you the best of luck with this launch. And, and we look forward to watching it grow and succeed. So please keep us posted, Stephen. All right, right, will do. Thank you very much. Thank you.